the shots taken at the base camp at uh, Quang Tree Air Base. Uh, this would have been sometime in uh, early 1968, uh, right after the Tet Offensive and prior to Danny coming home. In the background, uh, Danny walking toward you there, the communications tent where stood Radio Watch for 12 hours a day. And Mike Peltier there. And there's a battalion commander and executive officer walking across the compound, a wave to the camera. No matter how high your rank uh, still can be uh, a camera buff. That's Captain Randy, the air officer. This is a Marine pilot that uh, was in charge of the tactical air control party, replaced Captain Hart. Get a look at his wings there. And there's a shot of Captain Hart on the right. That's a company commander on the left. I can't remember his name. Captain Hart from Indianapolis. That's the one that Captain Randy replaced. And the TACP, or Tactical Air Control Party Tent. That was our base tent at Quang Tree Air Base. flag from the state of Indiana, the official flag. And tucked away in the helmet for safekeeping and good luck. A pair of, uh, let's call them unmentionables from, had to be an unknown admirer from the states. Lots of letters and lots of different gifts along with unmentionables came in the mail to all the troops in Vietnam. We're up and ready to go this morning. You'll notice a shoulder holster and a 45. shot of Corporal Lyles from Mississippi. This is shortly before he met his demise. Uh, right in the base camp there that you see. This is an F-4B Phantom. It's been hauled back to Da Nang Air Base after being shot down somewhere over South Vietnam. And here's a shot of an F-4B Phantom in action. This is an airstrike being called in up on the DMZ at Alpha 3. Alpha 3 was the first American base set up on the demilitarized zone. And this airstrike being called in by Danny, that was his job in tactical air control party. You see some 250 pound snake eyed bombs being dropped, and shortly you'll see an F 4 make a pass, dropping napalm. This is literally across the river. The area where you see the bombs impacting is actually North Vietnam. And a CH-53 Sky Crane bringing some supplies in to build the base at uh, Alpha 3. Mm -hmm. 
Scott Calvert from the S2 Division, BLT-13 out of Baltimore, Maryland, and Danny's best friend in Vietnam. Another shot of Captain Hart, the air officer from Indianapolis. I'm reading a book there as he sits outside his hoots and probably had a foot of water in the bottom of it. The area looks pretty dry right now, but BLT-13, the battalion set in at Alpha 3 uh, right prior to the rainy season, and it got awful wet and awful muddy there. A 60 millimeter mortar being set up to be fired at the uh, NVA right across the river in North Vietnam. Round one's on its way. I know I shouldn't want to keep you if you don't. Want well, the mud was so bad at Alpha 3 it made walking tough, so here's some troops that jumped a ride on a dozer. Sergeant Joseph out of Washington, D.C. again, and there's a CH 53 on the ground. One of the sky cranes that brought most of the supplies into the base. speed low pass over the treetops in Vietnam and a UA-20 Huey helicopter looking over the muzzle of an M-60 machine gun. And a smoke grenade being popped and let the helicopter pilot know which way the wind's coming from. Looks like a resupply mission here for Operation Prairie. And the platoon saddling up and getting ready to go the next morning. Those tubes are mortar rounds that have to be carried uh, by all the troops. This is Al that was Alan Smelcher from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Here's a hooch that's being burned. Search and destroy mission, Operation Prairie. A normal attire for a grunt. An infantryman in the Marine Corps. That's just about what you were saddled with every day. Mama son chopping up bamboo outside of her hooch. This fellow, a VC that was faking injury, had himself a crutch and limped a lot, but uh, definitely a VC. Later was arrested and sent to the S2 division back at headquarters. This young gentleman at Chu Hoi, or Vietnamese interpreter, he was on our side. He's the one that found out that the old gentleman was a VC. CH-47 chopper bringing in a load of supplies. And 
here we are after Operation Prairie. A little rest and relaxation as we throw one of the officers into the ocean. China Beach, Da Nang. Well, a much needed rest and relaxation period for the battalion at China Beach and Da Nang after Operation Prairie, but some folks got into the rest and relaxation a little bit too strong. This fellow that's having a little trouble uh, maintaining his balance, not only an officer, but a doctor. Maybe just a little bit of too much hot beer for him at this beach party. A couple of admirals following us in the truck as we're on our way back to our area. Maybe admirals, but they're still hams. Look at them waving. Here's a shot of Scott Calvert coming across the deck of the USS Iwo Jima. We've moved now. The Okinawa's gone, and we're on the Iwo Jima. Shot of Danny meandering across the deck, trying to comb what little hair he's got. The Marine Corps ain't gonna let you have much. What a waste of effort. Stan Maycheck in the foreground. That's the battalion chaplain in the middle of the black fellow, and that's Mike Peltier in the background there, the fellow with the glasses, Mike out of Burlington, Vermont, and Stan Maycheck was from California. And a shot of Danny reading the magazine and it looked like he's well into his work over there. Hey, hello to you too, Mike. Lou Zido in Da Nang, that was him making his way into the shower. Boy, he had a tough life. He was with the fire department in Da Nang. Danny and his skivvies making his way into the back door. F-102 taxiing in off the runway at Da Nang. <laughs> 